podcast is brought to you by Aldis International, supplying your expert AI and digital transformation staffing needs across the US and Europe. Today, you are listening to our AI in Action series, where leading minds in AI from across the world share their story, success, and advice. AI in Action cuts through the hype and explores the true impact of artificial intelligence in our world today. You're listening to AI in Action. I'm your host, JP Valentine. Our guest today is Nan Lee. Nan is the Vice President of AI, ML, and Statistical Practice at Nationwide. Nan, welcome to the show. Thank you. So Nan, let's start with yourself, please. Could you give us your background and your journey in technology from where you got started, some of the roles you've held along the way, take us up to today as the VP of AI and ML at Nationwide. I started my journey actually after graduating from MBA school in database marketing. That is as close that we get to what I have right now is look at the databases, find the best target for your marketing message. And my career just evolved from that over time, from database marketing to marketing analytics, um, data science building models. Then now I'm leading the AI machine learning statistics practice and nationwide. It is um, growing as the industry evolves over time. Thank you for that. Now, obviously, Nationwide are, are probably one of the most well-known financial and insurance organizations in, in the U.S., but I want to spend our time talking about what role AI and ML plays in helping the business as a whole. Could you describe your position, its main responsibilities, and then help us understand the team that you oversee and what it's like day to day? So, like you said, Nationwide is a comprehensive insurance financial services. So we have many independent operating business units providing a variety of different products to a consumer's business. I sit in the enterprise analytics office, so we are centralized shared services. So we provide advanced analytic solutions to all line of business. My primary responsibility for our office is to work with business partners, right? Help identify the use cases, develop advanced and its solutions so we can enable them to make a smarter decision or make a better action faster by leverage AI machine learning and incorporate that into business process. Particularly, my responsibility is also including uh, develop and advance the best practices in AI, in AI machine learning. For example, one of the areas I'm starting developing, expanding is called model life cycle management or governance. It's pretty new in the industry. But as you have more model, right, develop, put in production, you have to start looking at governance and monitoring side of it. So you talked about working with the various groups across nationwide, the different divisions and helping them have a business impact. What are some of the most common projects that you and your team work on? Could you give us some recent examples of where you went to a business unit, they had a particular need and what you and your team were able to do for them and what was the outcome? We work with variety of partners. If you think about insurance, right? When we get the customer into the door, we have to help them acquire the best customer. Then we make sure our we price correctly. So we help our pricing and underwriting team to uh, make sure our price adequately and selectively. Then I also work with after insurance come in, then the, when they have unfortunate events, we have to process claim. That is where we can help make our claim process more efficient and more user-friendly. And the last one, we also help our business partner to fight fraud. There's insurance fraud coming and there's also financial services fraud. So we, um, we kind of cover different use cases whenever our business needs us to support them. And the use case cover ranging from help them predict what's going to happen, help them segment the customers or help them the ultimate process, or some of the techniques we use, predict modeling, or we look into language processing. Can we turn text into insights and ultimate process? So there's a lot of fun supporting our business partners. Nan, in your, your own career journey, you worked previously at Nationwide. You then left to work at some organizations, and then you returned again which is rare in the data and AI world, but when you see it, it's because it's returning to an organization that they enjoyed working previously. Can you describe what that journey was like 
from when you were a director of data science, you obviously moved on to advance your own career, and then you returned again as the VP of AI and ML. Talk to us about that returning journey and also what had changed from the time that you left in, I believe it was 20, 2013 to coming back almost a decade later. Just how much evolution there had been in the world of AI and data science at Nationwide? That's a great question. I have a lot of gratitude and appreciation for Nationwide. I, like I said, I started in database marketing analytics. That's when I joined Nationwide PNC Marketing. And I definitely grow with Nationwide. They provide a lot of training to me. For me, actually, without a traditional technical background coming to the organization, I just grow into the field with the organization. Now, I left back then because I want to see what outside world look like. I want to, at that point, I feel I'm learned enough. I want to make really something different, more adventurous. That's why I work at other companies in Columbus. But since I left Nationwide, I always felt missing the connection with me. I miss the people. I miss the culture. And miss a lot of other things the Nationwide does for the community. So the different experience gave me a different perspective. So when this opportunity came, number one, I definitely ready to come back to Nationwide and miss it. Uh, second, this role is specifically for AI machine learning as teaching practice. That is at the forefront, right? Most advanced area. I've been away from that, not too close for a while. Then coming back to this area, I think it's good for my career. But bring with me were a different perspective, again, from other companies and a very broad experience allowed me to succeed in the current role. And coming back nationwide, you asked me what changed. Definitely some of the business model changed. You can see now we are from more one nationwide when I was here. Now the amount of business unit to operate more independently to explore opportunities. Another thing I saw change is the speed. People looking for a velocity for decision and we want to move quickly and the company become a lot more innovative since I came back. What hasn't changed was the, the, the focus on customer, the focus on people that's always been part of DNA for Nationwide. You are listening to the oldest podcast. When you're looking to scale your team, or if you are interested in showcasing your company in a future episode, reach out today. Or if you're in the market for a new role, visit our website to view open positions, www.aldis.com. I want to spend some time now talking about uh, the team, its current makeup, the various positions that exist and the growth plans, because you and I were talking off air about how Look, that despite what may be happening in the external market force, Nationwide has a consistent investment in the data and the AI team, and there's con- going to be continued opportunity for people to come and join you on this mission. So could you describe the overall makeup of the AI team currently, where you see it growing to over the next 12, 24 months? Yeah, our team continue to grow because we're getting more demand from business partner. They want to use data analytics to help their business grow and be more profitable. In our group, we are continue hiring because that demand. We are looking for data scientists primary who are willing to continue to learn new things and try new ways of solving problems. We are looking for the full stack data scientists who can do from model development to model deployment and be able to learn a new technology. We're also looking for people maybe with more machine learning engineering experience because now model operation become more important for organization. At the same time, we are also welcome people who have the good understanding of analytics, but able to connect with business. So right here, data science at team sports. Right. So we need the people who are passionate about in this area, but bring a unique different skill set to the team. So staying on the topic then of, of the different skill sets that you're trying to add to the team, as somebody who's vice president, then you oversee a lot of it. When you're speaking to candidates about the work, the mission, the environment that exists at Nationwide, what is it that you tell them about your team and why they should join that gets them to join Nationwide over some of the other great companies hiring? If I talk to candidates, I will say unique things or the most attractive things. Two, one is the culture. 
And the second is learning opportunity. The culture is what make nationwide unique and make me want to come back. It just feel the sense of community and family and the meaning of the work. We want to do things, right things, and in the right way. And we'll value people, we'll value their opinion, and value collaboration. And so candidate, if they can work with people, nationwide be a good place for them. If they want to go alone, that might be a little difficult. And the second is the learning. There's a lot of learning. And once you come to organization, onboarding, and we ask you to continue learning technology, business acumen, new methodology, where industry is going. If you are intellectually curious and hungry, right, for the amount of new learning and you are problem solver, trying to solve real business world problem in a collaborative environment, I think Nationwide is the place for you. Final question from me, Nan. When you look at the project roadmap, the investment in AI and all of the wonderful things that you're doing to have an impact for the various business units. When you look at the next 12 to 24 months, what are you most excited about to work on? There are a lot on our roadmap. I think we are pretty mature in model development. We're spent looking more, how can we better streamline and speed up the model deployment implementation. So there is a technology play there. There's also process improvement and important to work closely with your partner on the adoption and consumption. Another area I'm looking into, like I mentioned earlier, is on the governance. AI governance has been a hot topic uh, recently. A lot of government agencies, not just in the U.S., even around the world, are trying to come up with the blueprint or the framework, how to govern AI a solution or AI product, because that become integral point, right? It was our daily life. We use a phone, we even drive self-serving car. The algorithm started having a huge impact on our daily lives. So how can we make sure it's ethical? We manage the risk and we govern the process and we put checkpoint in place and control in place that very important. So I'm looking for both technology solution as well as thought leadership, how can I approach that in the right way and systematically? Nan, thank you so much for coming on today and talking to us. It was great to learn about your own journey, your background and your return to Nationwide after being there previously. Often we talk to companies who are early in their adoption of AI and data science, but Nationwide has been, I suppose, an early adopter of investing in data science. And it's evident from speaking to you about all the impact that you have for the various business units and the continued investment. It sounds like a great place to work for people working in AI, ML, data science. So thank you so much for your time. We appreciate you coming on the show and we look forward to having you back on in the near future. Yeah, thank you. My pleasure. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Oldest Podcast. If you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and review. We are available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and any Android podcast of choice. You can also head over to our website, www.aldis.com, to listen to more podcasts, view our open roles, and stay up to date with industry news. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for more great episodes coming very soon.